Hi, I'm Margaret Ray McDonald, and this is a book I wrote called Slop. It's a photo from Wales. It's illustrated by Yvonne Lebrun Davis. There once was an old man and old woman who lived in a little house with a fence all around their yard. Now, every day the old woman would make vegetable soup for their supper. So first she would peel our potatoes. So get your potatoes, peel your potatoes. And she'd throw the potato plant in the slop bucket, right? Slop. She'd peel her carrots, peel her carrots. And throw the carrot peelings in the slop bucket, slop. She'd peel her onions. And throw the onion peelings in the slop bucket, slop. Then she would call her husband. Husband, carry out the slop. And her husband would pick up that heavy bucket full of slop and carry it out the front door. There were just 10 steps to the front fence. So he would carry it and it was very heavy. So pick up your bucket, are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, slop, right over the fence. He did that every single night. But one day, when he carried out the bucket, one, two, three, four, four, seven, nine, ten, slop, he heard a little voice. I wish you would stop doing that. What? I wish you would stop doing that. A little man got at his feet. Please stop pouring your slops down my chimney every night. Oh, I don't pour my slops down your chimney. I pour them over the fence on the vacant lot next door. Uh-huh, and on down my chimney. If you could see with my eyes, would you do it, said the little fairy. The old man looked over the fence. He didn't see anything but weeds and slops. If you want to see with my eyes, just put your foot on my little foot and look again. So very gently, the old man put his big foot on the little man's little foot, and he looked again. And this time, oh, oh, he saw something he didn't expect. What did he see? There was a little cottage. Oh no, onion peelings hung from the chimney and carrot peelings hung from the roof and dirty dishwater ran down the chimney and out the front door. Oh, I've been pouring my slops down your chimney every night. Yes, said the little man, and my wife has to clean it up every single day. I wish you'd stop doing that. The old man went home and told his wife what had happened. He said, I don't know what to do. And the old man said, that poor little woman, she has to sweep all that dirty dishwater out every day and clean those peelings up. We must not do this anymore. What can we do, said the old man. That bucket is so heavy, I couldn't carry it any further to throw it away. They sat and thought and thought. The old man had an idea. What if we had a door in the back of the house? We don't have any money to hire a carpenter to come make us a door, said the old man. No, said the old woman, but I have a bit of money put by. I'd be glad to spend it to make our neighbors happy. And so the carpenter came and a new door was made in the back of the house. And the next day, the old woman Peeled her potatoes, two days, put the potatoes in the slop bucket, slop. Peeled her carrots, threw the carrot puns in the slop bucket, slop. Peeled her onions, threw the onion peelings in the slop bucket, slop. Then she called her husband, husband, carry out the slops. He picked up that, that heavy bucket of slops and one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, slop. He threw it over the back fence. And they listened. And they heard little voices. Thank you, neighbor. Thank you, neighbor.
it's a good place for your compost heap. So they put their garbage there every night. And the little man and his wife were happy. And after that, the old man and his woman never lacked for anything because every night when they opened the back door, a gold coin rolled in. It was left there by the little man. It was a gift from one good neighbor to another. And that's a folktale from Wales. And all of my stories have a note on the back that tell where the story came from and tell about the author and the illustrator. Now, the illustrator, Yvonne Lebrun Davis, her grandparents came from Wales. So she modeled the old man and the old woman on her grandma and grandpa. She had photographs of them. And that's her grandma and grandpa that she drew. Here's a picture of Yvonne and myself at the beach at Glimmis Island, where we both live in Washington State. Yvonne thought it would be fun to have a picture made of us in the same pose as the old man and the old woman. So here's the old man and old woman having tea. And here's Yvonne and I having tea. You can see it's the same pose. Yvonne knew a lot about Wales since her grandparents came from there. So she put on the tablecloth leeks because leeks are the symbol of Wales. See all these leeks? And Yvonne knew that the little dog, see the little dog, see the white spot on his back? on his neck. He's called a Welsh corgi. And she knew that corgis were believed to be the, to have, that's a little saddle for the fairies to ride. So she drew a picture on the back with the fairy riding away on a corgi. And I found out that in Wales, they believe they got the corgis from the fairies. A little boy and girl were out playing in the fields one day and some fairies came down and they gave the little girl a little girl dog and the little boy a little boy dog. And that's how the Welsh corgi came to be in Wales. Yvonne knew also she put other things from Wales in here. The little house is like based on an old style Welsh cottage and the little coracles are really old fashioned Welsh boat. And she knew about the animals that lived in Wales, so she drew Welsh ponies in this picture. And a little Welsh vole. It's a little creature called a Welsh vole. She had a lot of fun with whales in her picture. She had something funny happen when she was doing her, her books. You know when you're drawing a picture, sometimes you make a mistake. We don't just wad it up and throw it away, because Yvonne, being a professional artist, knew how to save something. When she does a picture like this, she uses uh, watercolor, but she also uses pastels. And to make the background, she takes a crayon off of, like on its side, and it's a pastel, and she just scrubs like this and like this to make it really dark, and then like this, and makes it a little bit lighter. It takes her maybe a whole day of scrubbing really carefully because she wants it to be toned just the way she wants it. And when she was doing this particular picture, she was rubbing so hard that her little finger started to bleed. And she got a drop of blood on the book. And she said, oh, no, on the page. She said, oh, no, what will I do? I don't want to throw it away. I've been working on it for several days now. I don't want to start over. What should I do? And she thought and she thought and she thought of a way to save it. Can you guess where the drop of blood was? The little carrot right on top of the dog's nose. That little drop, that was a drop of blood. So she said, I'll just make it into a carrot. And she painted red over it, and then she put a carrot like around it. So that's how you can just save a picture if you make a mistake. Well, I hope you enjoyed this story from Wales. I'm Margaret Reed McDonald, and thank you for coming to hear my story. <laughs>